I've been getting into flying recently, and I have found that a few fighter maneuvers used in the real world can be applied to the game despite having much different physics and flying mechanics. If you are a veteran pilot, you may find some of these basic, but given the fact that there are many people who want to get into flying, and the ones I have faced in the game so far haven't really been using a whole lot of these, I think this may be helpful. So there are a few selected ones I want to go through today, and in the end I want to run a scenario that utilizes a few of those in combination. Alright, let's start with some easier and basic ones, like the split S. It can be used offensively or defensively. The maneuver is to roll your plane inverted and then pull back. Diving down into a half loop, this essentially turns the plane 180 degrees while trading potential energy for kinetic energy. And I mostly use this to set up a high side gun pass against a lower target, moving in the opposite direction. It is best used against a target that is unaware of you, because if they are, they can simply pull up and force a pass which can turn into a circle of fights or scissors. Here you can see that there is a bogey flying towards me, actually following my wingman here. So I invert it, and then pull it back. Now I'm on the 6, and he is down. And now there's another example, inverting the plane, pull, and then now complete the 180 turn, and now I'm on his back. Overall it is not a very complicated maneuver, but something that everybody should just be aware of. The next one will be the Immelman. This is basically the opposite of the split S. It involves pulling up to complete a half loop turning 180 degrees and then roll your plane back upright. A lot of players do that for defensive maneuvers, pulling your plane up. This is actually quite a poor maneuver because you are trading your kinetic energy for potential energy, making you a slower target and you end up becoming a relatively stationary target for your opponent to shoot at. And here you're flying, there is a bogey on top. You do a 180 turn, pulling up, and then it inverts, and now you are on the 6, and you're ready to fire. And now he's down. Then the next one would be the pitch back, which is somewhat of an altered immelman. Another name for this maneuver would be the chandelle. It is one of the most useful maneuvers against novice pilots. The classic scenario that would make this a useful maneuver in the game would be immediately after a head-on pass. Many times after a head-on pass, you will end up in either a 1 or 2 circle fight depending on which way you turn in a horizontal plane relative to the other plane. But instead of turning right or left after the pass, you can pull up like you are doing an immelman into a vertical loop, and then when you are coming back down, you can start turning towards the enemy who may still be performing the horizontal loop down below. And the fact that there are rarely any pilots in Battlefield who has free look enabled make this an even more effective tactic as they are mostly focusing on what's going on in front or its immediate back that they don't notice you are performing a pitch back maneuver. And many times I actually fake a 1 or 2 circle turn and only pull up after we pass each other. And now I'm on the 6 and he's down. Alright, there's a bogey right here. I am pulling up doing a pitch back maneuver. I'm going to do it almost a 360 degree turn and now I am back on his tail. Now he is breaking and I have to do a roll which I will discuss later on. And once I completed that, he is back in front of us. And now he is going to be shot down. And in this scenario, there are two planes in front of me. I'm going for the first one. And he is just stalled there for some reason, and he is down. The second one, I'm going to follow him for the time being. Alright, now I'm in lag pursuit, trying to catch back up to him. Now he's stalled for some reason again. There's another one on me right now. Now that's a neutral pass. 
do a pitch back. And there he is. And he is also down. And then the next one would be a variations of roll. Like the lag displacement roll or the barrel roll attack. So the lag roll is to try to reduce the angle of tail, which is the angle between you and your enemy's flight path. And just to quickly get this out of the way, these also relate to the pursuit curves which include lead, peer, and lag pursuits. And to describe this in a more basic term, if your crosshair is in front of your enemy's plane's nose, it is a lead pursuit. If it is on target, then it is a peer pursuit. And if it is behind its tail, then it is a lag pursuit. And how lag roll comes into play is to try to reduce the rate of closure as you are about to overshoot your enemy by flying a longer out of plane flight path and to reduce the kinetic energy to stay behind your enemy. And what it involves is to raise your nose above the bogey and then roll away from the inside of the turn towards the bogey 6. And now completing the roll. And you're in the optimal position to shoot him down. If you do not raise the nose, you end up just doing a simple aileron roll, which does not displace your plane nor control the closure and may end up in a worse position than before. And here's an example of that. And for this scenario, now that's a neutral pass. I'm going to do a pitch back just like how we did earlier. And I've lost him. And that's okay. Sometimes that happens. And I'm going to find my next target. There's a bogey right here. We'll do a roll. Closing it. And now we are in pure pursuits. And I can shoot him down. Okay, now I found my targets. I'm going to do a split S. He actually pulled up, so I gotta keep going. Okay, now he's down. There's another target here. Now I found him again. I'm in pure pursuit, I'm gonna overshoot him. Do a roll out of plane maneuver. And now he is in the optimal position to be shot down again. And in this next scenario, there's actually a bogey following my wingman here. I decided to pitch up, roll while breaking, and this allows me to have a delayed, longer, out of plane flight path so I can be behind him again. And this is just Battlefield 5 mechanics. For breaking and it is not optimal it's not realistic but it is what it is and you just have to break with them sometimes and the last one would be the defensive spiral dive it is mostly used when both aircrafts are very high in altitude but since physics is different in this game you can possibly do it in most altitudes other than right above the ground it is a last ditch effort to lose an enemy on your six and what you want to do is to invert your plane and then pull on the stick to start diving. And in that process, keep diving towards the side of your enemy. And if you have no idea where your enemy is, just keep using a roll and yaw to the max and spiral down like a screw. And that is to make aiming as hard as possible for your enemy. You will also want to break during the dive in the hopes that your enemy will overshoot you during the dive. And if they don't overshoot, your objective is to keep doing that until it is near the ground and then exit right above it. And the goal is to have the enemy either break off in a separate direction in fear of hitting the ground or actually hit it. Here, I have an example of my enemy performing a short defensive spiral dive and I saw that he was also breaking. And to prevent an overshoot, I did not want to keep diving and ended up exiting the dive in a different direction. And he was successful in that maneuver. All right, now, let's talk about this scenario here. There will be multiple maneuvers performed. 
There's a plane down below. I'm going to do a split S. Let's follow this first plane right here. And he is shot down. Let's look for the other bogey here. And he is passing me on my right. I'm going to do a pitch back. Now he is down there. So I'm going to continue following him. Now I am in lag pursuit, trying to get back to him. And he is doing a Immiman style defensive maneuver, which is not optimal. And now he's doing a defensive spiral while breaking. I had to break off. And he is still stalling here. So I decided to do a lag displacement roll. And now he is back in front of me. Anyway, I hope that was useful. If you dislike that, you know what to do. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and even ring the bell. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon.